Welcome back. Well, it was another hot one today, but humidity coming down. We still hit 95 degrees. Haven't been able to shake those above normal temperatures, and they're going to continue in the mid, maybe upper 90s in the days ahead, but the humidity lower. This morning, 79 degrees. We're going to improve on that, so let's get over to the key wall. No records being set, and the normals this time of year, the normal high now down to 92, so we're kind of over the hump of the summer, and look forward to the cool nights ahead and we're going to have that coming up. So let's take a look at the last 30 days though as we plot the days uh, average highs and lows average together and overall we've seen a couple of cool days with warm nights. That's when we had some of the rainfall back in July but mostly we've had hotter than normal days and warmer than normal nights and that has been the story coming up tonight at 10. We'll see where we stand in the big picture uh, compared to last summer and the hottest summers on record. Hot August rather on record high pressure still dominating and that's allowing for northerly winds that helped push that front on through uh, early early yesterday morning where we had those gusty winds around two three in the morning now all is quiet clear skies and powered up or three all is clear you see still some storms festering out in the Gulf always have to watch this area this time of year and as we open it up into the tropics uh, tropical cyclone formation not expected over the next seven days that gets us almost to the last week of August and by golly, we have some notorious August hurricanes on record in Louisiana, the 26th, 28th, 29th. Uh, we've had big storms. This is Ernesto now transitioning to a regular storm, not a tropical system. And we get out into the tropics, not a whole lot going on. There's a low right here, but uh, there is also dust involved. And we get back to Africa, and most of the African waves have had uh, been coming off a little bit farther to the north, so they're pulling for more dust from the Sahara. So the dust here has been above normal for this time of year. Hey, we'll take it. It's not going to last and it will change beyond the next couple of weeks. So uh, for now, enjoy the days we're not tracking anything. So in the near term, nice dry air. That's that blue stuff. But as we get toward the weekend, we start seeing the atmosphere moistening up just a little bit. That's when we'll see our rain chances perk up, especially as we get into early to mid next week. We do need the rain and hopefully we'll see some scattered storms as we get into next week. But no no tropical issues now for the next week to 10 days. Uh, beyond that, two to three weeks, things will change. Near term, though, mid-90s tomorrow, lower humidity. That's the great news. So mostly sunny skies, cool, coolish again tomorrow night. But mid-90s will continue. But the heat index, not so bad because the humidity will be lower. So check out these lows. Coolest night we've seen since mid-June on the way for tomorrow morning. Mid to upper 60s for the northern parishes of Acadiana, right near 70 to lower 70s I-10 quarter and upper 60s to lower 70s along the coast. Then tomorrow back into the mid 90s, but a degree or two cooler for the northern parishes of Acadiana versus farther to the south where we'll see temperatures pretty much planted in the mid 90s. Still a little bit above normal, but wait, there's more tomorrow night. Mid 60s for northern portions of Acadiana. That's awfully nice. We'll favor upper 60s to lower 70s again for Thursday morning and much the same along the coast. So some nice pleasant mornings ahead, but you got to get up early to enjoy it before the temperatures start heating up. So another night with a super blue moon out there tonight. So that's why the wolves are howling. Otherwise, a pleasant evening ahead. Then for tomorrow, we'll see temperatures getting back into the mid 90s, but at least comfortable humidity if you're in the shade and a little nice breeze out of the north northeast. As we move into the 10 day forecast, daytime highs stay above normal, but humidity not so bad. That changes as we get into next week and those overnight lows pleasant in the morning, at least for laugh yet, but a gradually warming up with those rain chances as we head into next week as well. That's it for weather for now. We'll have more coming up in just a little bit.